I got a brand new bullet bra I feel sexy with my boobs All the guys just turn around to see my super pointy boobs When I'm walking down the street I make all the traffic stop They don't see the light is green They only see my super boobs I love my bullet bra, baby I love my bullet bra, baby It makes me look so good Bullet bra, baby You guys look good Thank I you I feel confident Yeah, like it makes me want to stick my chest out to the sky <laughs> Look at that <laughs> You guys are the pink, and then we've got like the skirt and the shirt, and then we've got the shorts. Hello, I'm Jade, and I'm a huge fan of the 1950s old Hollywood movies. I just love the clothing that they wore. People like Marilyn Monroe, Jane Russell, and so many others. They were so inspired. I've been looking around on the web, and I found this word that was used to describe them. And it was sweater girls. And see, the way to complete this look was to wear a, a bullet bra and of course with a tight sweater over top. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at the sweater girls from the past and compare them to the sweater girls of today using old pictures, old movie footage, anything that gives inspiration and an insight to what it was like then versus what it could be like now. I've got two lovely ladies behind me, Mandy and Sam, who will be helping me. And I have a surprise for them. Something that we ordered online. Hey, hey it just arrived. Ah, is it? Oh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh you're so much. It's so nice. Oh, this is so soft. Wow, this yours? Oh, Look at the flower so detail. Cool. Oh my goodness, I do love those flowers. Are they embroidered on there? I believe so, yeah. Looks awesome. Wow. Those are pretty colors. <laughs> I went with like basic black sexy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Yeah, what though? It's gonna look really good with your hair. No, like, oh, yes! Like, exactly, yeah. like a little lacy pair of underwear with a red bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and boom. Yes. Lipstick, <laughs> smoky eyes. Oh, yours is like mine, but in a different color. Yeah, yeah, it's a different color. It's so cool. It's oh, like got the green so and the gold cool. and the yes. red. It's totally army check. Oh, so with army. With a little hat, a little green yeah. underwear. Yeah, it looks very military. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> what do you say, girls? We go and try these on. That would be How so yeah, cool. Hell yeah, we do. It looks so comfortable. Look at look at this like elastic at the bottom. Oh yeah, I know. That's right? Not like the modern bras that they make these days. Right? They're so yeah, they're comfortable. And these seem so sweet. Look at this. This is not going to pierce into your back. <laughs> oh no. And the extra room over here will be great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the insides, so soft. <sighs> Those are soft. I like the silkiness of mine. Yeah, I really like your scent. This is like, and look at this kind of like support over here. Exactly. <laughs> and like the <laughs> double stitching. <laughs> you have nothing coming up from the sides. Exactly. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go, go, go okay, try it yeah, on. Okay, yeah, go try it on. I wanna see it. Yes. I'll be right back. Perfect. Awesome. All right, let me slide over. I wanna see it. Oh. Oh yeah, I, I didn't know you got the same one as yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little bit different. Yeah, it's just slightly straps. different. Yeah, over here. Yeah. Oh, cool. You've got like the silky lacy straps, so mine have got like the like a triangle. On yeah, it. yeah. I'm that's just so cool. excited like to wear these outside mm -hmm. and see like how people are gonna react to them. Yeah, I want to see like what it would be like it's underneath so my regular everyday clothes, oh, how yeah. it changes the style of them, yeah. how they look. Does it go unnoticed or do people like, does it turn people's heads and they're like, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, would do, be cool to see. Do you think they would actually know like if we wore them out exactly what we were wearing? Or would they just be like, that person's boobs are really pointy? <laughs> it could go either way. I think it could go either way. It depends on how pointy we want to make them, mm -hmm. right? The, mm -hmm. the more we stuff them, the pointier they'll be. <laughs> Because I mean, like, naturally our boobs are not that pointy, right? Yeah, they're not that shape. So we're going to have to put, like, some kind of, like, stuffing at the at the cone tip part the over tip, here. To keep it firm. Hmm. To give it more emphasis. 
Yeah. I can't wait to try this on. <laughs> Me either. Me either. And have like a theme party of like the 50s or like, you know, the 40s. <laughs> yes. Then we can be exactly like our idols. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, we'll get a trend going. Get all of our friends to buy these. What does it look like? Oh, it looks look so cute. Good. Yeah, I love it. I love <laughs> it on you. <laughs> you know what would be funny if you wore it over your shirt? <laughs> oh Ooh, my goodness! Yes, that's I so love cool. it. Yeah. How does it feel? Feels good. Feels good? It's like sturdy yeah. and like supportive. Supportive. Really? Yeah. This Sweater Queen contest was held in 1949 on a rooftop in New York City. I wonder why it was held on a rooftop instead of a public place. The judges seem to like it. Maybe it's time for some sweater contests again. Maybe someone will do it on YouTube. Nice. Well, they look like they are very supportive bras. That's true, with the wide bands and the strong straps. Exactly. I really like it. It's comfortable too. It yeah. fits just, it molds the best. It's awesome. Wow. Look at those points. That's very pointy. I was not imagining it being yeah. that pointy. No, I love it, it though. I can like slice the cake with these babies. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. Don't go poking around, people. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Won't poke anyone's eye out, all right? Okay, I'll go try it. Okay, okay yes, um, yes, 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 do that. Can you join me on here? Okay, yeah, sure. There are lots of sites on the net regarding bullet bras. You can see some of them here. There are now lingerie shops that sell bullet bras, and of course, they can be ordered online. The prices vary from about $40 to $200 or even more. If you buy one locally, you can get advice on getting a good fit. Some of the old magazine ads appear humorous to us now. I find it curious that the ads mostly have drawings instead of photos. I wonder if young women at that time would be too shy to model bullet bras for magazine ads. The permalift bra seems to claim that if you wore the bra, your breasts would be then lifted permanently. It would be great if it was true, but I think there are laws against advertising like that now. Maiden form bra ads became famous, with the model saying she dreamed about doing different things while wearing her maiden form bra. They never mentioned wearing anything over the top of the bra. Bullet bras were a fad that lasted about 15 years, much longer than the fads these days. Hollywood movie idols wore them, which made their fans want to wear them too. Wearing a bullet bra was a way to be cool, while making a fashion statement as well. Without bullet bras, there would have been no sweater girls. You will see some public reaction to our bullet bras in the coming scenes. I love them. Your, your girl is a little bit of a different style, so I wonder how they're going to differentiate mm -hmm. your style of bullet bra versus my style of bullet style. bra. Yeah, because yours is like a, like a half cuff, right? Where it's um, like the half silk and then like a mesh at the top? Yeah, but right. I got a liner to go with it. Oh, okay, so yeah. that's what's keeping it like super mm -hmm. firm. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I didn't get a liner for mine. But you don't, maybe need, I could, you don't need one. I don't think I need one because of like the way that the stitching is around on the outside of it. Mm -hmm. I think that really like creates the circle shape. I definitely agree. Yeah. And it looks cool. Yeah, it makes, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes, it adds to it. I think we should do like a photo shoot just in like all the bullet bras. Mm -hmm. Bullet bras, cool. high-waisted shorts. Yeah. yeah. That'd oh, that's awesome. so, like a pinup style shoe. Mm -hmm. That would be really cute. That's exactly it. Yeah. Could do different themes. Like mm -hmm. this could be like army. Mm -hmm. Could you do an army one. Yeah. You could do like a like a like a um like a Japanese style one. You oh, could get like a like a cool. cute silky like robe and like have beautiful red lips and everything. Ooh. That would be really cute. I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> and then she could do like a classic because it was red and black and that's so classic that exactly. color. Exactly. And yeah. it look really good with her really beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because she's got this like beautiful dark locks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she oh. could totally do the whole Snow White look. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's yeah. perfect. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I want to try my own. <laughs> Yeah, I really like the, the flexibility mm -hmm. of that. So to just, I believe it'll just mold around. Yeah. But it looks very comfortable. It's got like the underwire, but it's completely yeah. covered with like padding and stuff. So nothing going to be jabbing into you. Exactly. And it's nicely uh, stitched up so it's not going to poke out the end. You know? mm -hmm. Sometimes in the bras, you now if you get a cheap bra, the wire can poke yeah, out. Yeah, out the sides. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. 
I don't think you'll have that problem. That was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, she done? Yeah. Check this out, ladies. Oh my wow. god. That's so awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. I want to test. Oh, that's so beautiful. Is okay. it too pointy? No, no, no wait, I'm going to try mine on. I'll be right back. Can you be too pointy with a bowl of grass? I don't know. Maybe it's not possible to be too pointy. I don't think so. I think that's no. the whole idea is to be as pointy as, as possible. possible. Exactly. Do mine. I know. I guess mine is not like as perfect as yours. Feel that point. Hmm. Oh, look. I wonder if I did it properly. I think so. Yeah. I think it looks good. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the, maybe we could try it with some different shirts and just do it. Yeah, I think because person. this is like a light shirt and I'm wearing a dark bra. Oh, okay, that could be it. Yeah, that could be it. Well, from the side, it looks a lot like a... Hot <laughs> damn! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, two bullet girls ready. <laughs> or, or sweater girls, should I say, ready to go. Exactly. We're just waiting for our third partner in crime <laughs> to hit the road. I love it. Do you like it? How cool is it? That color suits you. Thank you. Oh, it's oh, very it. nice. <laughs> yeah. Look at those. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love them so much. Lana Turner is credited with being the very first sweater girl. It is because of the movie scene here. This scene was considered risque at the time and it got a lot of publicity. A movie writer commented on the sweater girl and the term stuck and everyone started saying it. Lana started playing bit parts in movies. She was soon noticed by directors and given starring roles. Her life, while glamorous, was filled with personal failures. She was married eight times, twice to the same man. She struggled with alcohol. Her daughter stabbed and killed one of her boyfriends who was abusive. Because of her personal problems, she didn't make movies for a while. And then she came back with outstanding performances in a few movies, as well as TV. But she will always be remembered as being the first sweater girl. While you guys are getting ready, I'm going to change my sweater. So I think I'm just going to put my hair to the side. How's the red lipstick? Wait, oh, I like it. Yeah, they're matching lipstick. <laughs> Hmm. Not tight enough. So Ooh. does this work? I like that. Does it give you like uh, Miss 40s, uh, 50s? I think that it really suits the, look, yeah. the whole look. I really love that color. Yeah? Okay. I think we're ready to go. What do you think? I think so. Just give me one second. I'm just gonna... Finish this up. Oh yes, this works. There we go. I need a nice little pull. Just turn around to see my super pointy boobs When I'm walking down the street I make all the traffic stop They don't see the light is green They only see my super boobs I love my bullet bra, baby I love my bullet bra, baby It makes me look so good My bullet bra, baby Before my bullet wrap, I used to feel so dull 
But now all eyes on me, I feel like I'm a Barbie doll My bullet bright is pointy, but it's easy to take off If you take me on a date, my twin volcanoes will be yours I love my bullet bright, baby I love my bullet bright, baby It makes me look so good 